Let's learn how to create a Postman webhook. The first thing you'll need is a collection to run. I'm using this collection here called Postman API Webhook Demo. I also have the components that I'll need to create the webhook and call it, but it's not important that these elements be in the same collection you're trying to run. Let's start by creating the webhook. This endpoint is provided by the Postman API. There's some information that you'll need, and you can read the documentation to find all those elements. But I'm going to be sending a post call with this body that includes a webhook name and a collection ID. The collection ID is for the collection I want to run, which is actually this same collection containing this request. Let's hit send. And if we get a 200 OK, we can see that we get a webhook URL. This is the URL that you'll hit to call your webhook. When I hit send, I'm looking under the tests tab. I actually wrote a little bit of code to set a webhook URL programmatically so that I don't have to copy that URL to my clipboard. Now we can move on to this next call, a post to call the webhook, going to that webhook URL that we just created. And I'm going to send a payload, which is a JSON object that says, Ahoy matey. And when I send it, I'm going to be calling the webhook, triggering this collection run. Let's hit send. And it's 200 OK. Well, how do I know that it's really OK? A Postman webhook behind the scenes is actually a monitor. So if we go to the monitors, we can see that I created a webhook called Hookie. And here is that run. And if I select this collection run and scroll down, I can see this is the collection that ran. In fact, just one request called echo the payload. If I want to drill down deeper, I can tab over to console and I can see that I have some console statements where I'm saying hello from the pre-request script and hello from the test script. Let's take a look at what I actually ran by calling my webhook. Return of collections. The thing that I was running was this request here called echo the payload. This is just Postman's echo service echoing back what I give it. And if I go under the pre-request script, you can see that I'm able to access the payload sent through that webhook using globals.previousRequest. And here's that log statement from the pre-request script. And the reason why the entire collection didn't run if you can guess, I'll go to the tests tab, is because I terminated the request using Postman set next request. So in this instance, I only ran the very first request in this collection using my webhook.